our warfighters and tanks and combat vehicles even better. And wait for it, it's foam. That's right, you heard me correctly. This new material is foam that'll provide much better and even lighter protection for our warfighters. It's gonna do three or four main things that I'm really excited about. But first of all, I'm sure you're wondering, what is this foam? What does it look like? Let's take a look at it now. We're looking at it up close, so it doesn't look like this when you're looking at it uh, with your naked eye. So it literally is metal that is foam. So the team that came up with this ingenious, ingenious way of providing better armor, it was a joint team. It was U.S. Army and North Carolina State University. And they've been working on this project for several years, and I've been following it closely. So let's talk about some of the breakthroughs that they come up with. And they're calling it CMF composite metal foam. So here what we're looking at is an M230 caliber armor piercing bullet and one inch thick of this remarkable foam. We're watching a bullet with 2,780 foot pounds of energy. And this is what happens to the bullet on impact. That's right, obliteration. The second thing I'm excited about is better protection for our warfighters in the war zones from the invisible threat of blast. Now, what do I mean by that? So if an explosion, as you're traveling through the war zone and if explosion goes off near the vehicles, the warfighters inside will be better protected from those shock waves. The third thing I'm excited about is the heat resistance. So this foam will better protect the warfighters inside should they need to dismount. There's this thing called cook-off. We wanna prevent that, right? So the heat will travel more slowly and give the warfighters inside the armored vehicle more time to get out to safety. The fourth thing, very important and also very exciting, is weight. Now that's like, oh, what's so exciting about that? It is incredibly important. What's so exciting about this is it's significantly lighter with better protection. In fact, it's two thirds lighter for the same or better protection than the traditional armor that we're using on our vehicles right now. Let me just give you one example, right? Practical stuff. So if you had 12 tons of our current traditional armor that we're using right now, right? If you had CMF, this new foam, you could use four tons instead of 12 tons. I'm not great at math, but that's a big difference. Imagine how much more speed we could have with that reduced weight, maneuverability, agility with our future combat vehicles. So imagine that foam could be the future of our combat armor. Literally foam could revolutionize our combat vehicles and make them even more fierce and better protecting our warfighters inside in the near term. I'm Allison Berry for Fox News. That's it for today. We'll see you here next week for more groundbreaking, amazing military technology. If you're looking for more details, more nuggets on this exciting